summer's over, put a sweater on. Happy Labor Day. <laughs> oh, it's brat summer's over, my children, my up and coming trashies. Hey, baby. It's a misnomer summer. Come on in, my trashies. Welcome to Total Trash Live. Are you guys ready for some mysteries? <laughs> I've solved a couple, and we have some new mysteries to begin with. Let's begin with the show, honey. Hi, my trashies. Let's, let's go. My co-host Lumina is here. She wishes you all a happy Labor Day. Let's go. Summer's over, put a sweater on. Let's get busy. Where's Kate Middleton? I got the information. Oh, hey my trashies. Are you guys having a happy, fun Labor Day weekend? It's Labor Day. Lumina's movie's coming out? I thought it was already out. They stole my daughter's story. Hollywood. To hell with it. Listen, everyone's talking about how it was a brat summer. It was a misnomer summer. It was a misnomer summer. Let's get that straight. You're at Ralph's, my trashy? Oh, why are you there, honey? Why are you at R Ralph's? Are you there to dedicate, um, decorate your refrigerator? And we're going to get to that later in the show. Come on in, my trashies. We've got so much to discuss. Are you sad summer's over? Time to break out that cashmere, that wool, that turtleneck. I'm just giving everybody a chance to come on in. Yeah, honey, it's summer's over, except in um, Los Angeles. Our summer begins now, because on Thursday and Wednesday, it's going to be 102, 150 degrees. It's, we're having, we're having a, a heat wave. This is your first live. You are officially a trashy, my trashy. Summer's over, except on Wednesday and Thursday in Los Angeles, where we're going to melt. Will you decorate your refrigerator with Donald Trump? Oh, we're going to get to all of that, honey. We're going to get into the fridge scaping, the hottest new trend for fool. Trapped in Florida, no sweater weather. I don't care if there's no sweater weather. Once fall comes, put on some um, cashmere. Hi, my trashies in Chicago. Hey, baby. Um, I know you're not supposed to wear white after Labor Day, but I don't give a damn. Gosh darn it, I'm going to wear white whenever I want. No, I really don't like when people wear white after Labor Day. So you won't be seeing me doing it. This is my last hurrah. My last hurrah. Uh, we're going to get to the fridge scaping and so much more. Am I talking about Rihanna and Dior? I was surprised Rihanna's doing um, a spokesperson for Dior. Doesn't she have Fenty? You know, I have um, Rihanna um, uh, Fenty bathrobe. It's a green bathrobe and it's polyester. Honey, I sweat in it. I sweat like it's a heat wave. Like on Wednesday and Thursday. And it's made out of polyester, honey. I could burst in the flames if I walk by a candle. You should, Lumina should be this year's Halloween costume, my trashy. Will you need my thoughts on the new Glenn Close film? Well, honey, I'm going to watch it this week. Cause I, I'm going to watch it when I have to hide in the house because it's going to be 150 degrees. But I saw a clip of it, honey, and I can't wait for it. She looks real crazy. Talking real crazy. That's my girl. I love her. She's like a little snow bunny. <laughs> Just like me. I'm a snow bunny in my white. Oh, isn't it, is it bad boy Ramsey in the house? Hey, baby. Listen, let me tell you something. Did you guys have a fun weekend? I did. So I went out to some parties. Um, and um, let me tell you something. I had somebody put makeup on me in a dark nightclub. I, I was like, he says he was a makeup artist. I said, well, can you do my eyes? And I did my eyes in a dark nightclub. Don't do it, honey. Because I came outside and I went home and I looked at myself in the mirror. I said, I look like the crow. Honey, she gave me a raccoon. Thank you, my trashy. You're the cutest. Yeah, don't ever put makeup on in a nightclub. What was I thinking? Why did I do that? Was I askew? Was I unhinged? Putting makeup on in a nightclub, in a dark nightclub? What, Ramsey? Um, speaking of Ramsey, you know Jean Benet Ramsey? Do you see how they made her, um, they, on Dance Moms, that unhinged show, Askew, they made little girls, one little girl recreate Jean Benet's, um, 
death in a dance routine, a modern dance routine where she strangles herself. It's on my Instagram. I mean, that's unhinged, honey. It sounds like something I would do. That sounds like something like I would recreate. Because I, you know, I saw that JonBenet Ramsey murder mystery a long time ago. And I believe allegedly it was her brother over a pineapple because she took pineapple out of his cereal bowl and he hit her over the head. Accidents happen. So, but that was murder. But, um, yeah, and they made that girl learn about JonBenet Ramsey. But you really should learn about JonBenet Ramsey. It should be taught in school. Oh, yes, my trashy. Yes, my trashy. Um, it's just a misnomer summer. Why would she beat your face like that in the dark? It's very brat behavior. Well, I asked her to, because I'm unhinged and I'm askew. <laughs> I came out, and I still have it stuck on my eyelashes. I can't get it completely off. I'm not completely free from this makeup. I'm a victim. I'm a victim. Who is she? It's a misnomer summer, honey. Oh, let's get into this, honey. Benifer finally pulled the plug. After all that back and forth and making everybody wait, ah, Benifer finally pulled the plug and she um, went down to the courthouse. Jennifer Lopez went down to the courthouse herself and did it allegedly. I don't know if I believe that story. And um, she didn't have a prenup, but also, do you know inside the ring that he gave her, that ugly green um, Jolly Rancher ring? Um, he put, he wrote, never dot going dot <laughs> anywhere dot and yet she did Ben did go somewhere she left Benifer's over Benifer's over honey and that's sad but you know Leo Remini that's um Jennifer Lopez's good friend well they had a falling out when she got back with, back with Benifer and now Leo Remini's um divorcing her husband so who do you think Leo Remini and JLo should date next each other Affair, 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 affair. I love to scream affair. You know where I got it from? When I was in um, elementary school, I went to a Catholic school. Whenever um, the principal would come in and talk to a teacher, I would start screaming affair, affair. <laughs> and I got the whole class to start doing it. And one day, the finally, the teacher just looked at us and said, Stop it! Affair, affair. Oh, I was an unhinged bratty child. Miss Nomar. Leah, Leah Neff, that's right, my child. She, Benifer, and it's from Benifer to Leah Neffer. Leah Neffer. Leah Neffer. Where is Shelly Miscavige, honey? She's probably at the Grove. I love you too, my trashy. Who murdered Mariah's sister? Honey, well, you know, Mariah Carey's sister, you know, was, had battling health problems and whatnot. And um, she, Mariah's sister died the same day as her mother. Oh, that's sad. I love Mariah, but she'll be back. She'll bounce back for Christmas. I think you think JLo as a lesbian might revive her career. I agree, honey. She should get back. She should get with Leah Remini. Leah Remini comes across as lesbianic to me. Now I come across as lesbianic. Don't put makeup on in the dark at a nightclub. Don't do it, my trashies. You look like the crow. And there's a reboot of the quote, so I guess it's, it's back in style. Oh, poor Benifer. But you know, he also wrote all the emails to her when, they were, when he was wooing her back together. Not, dot, going, dot, anywhere, dot. And you know, he broke up with her the first time, right before the wedding. And that's why he kept telling her, I'm not going anywhere this time. And he went somewhere. I mean, right after she made that movie professing her love, and she's back with Benifer. And then she made a documentary and a song and then he dumps you? Honey, that's mean. Honey, Ben Affleck's mean. My hat is very covered. Thank you, honey. Well, I'm a detective. So I'm a, I'm a, and I'm a witch. I'll collect pieces from, you know, boys I like and I put spells on them. Like, I like to take their jewelry and put spells on them. Um, oh, poor Jennifer Lopez. She got to become a lesbian now. She got to become a lesbian now. That's all there is to it. Are you guys going to go see the new Broadway show with um, um, Mia Farrow and Patti LuPone? <laughs> he went, uh, yes, Ben did go to Dunkin' Munkins and never came home. Well, now he can eat all the Dunkins he wants. He's been ordering Chick-fil-A, delivering it to him, Chick-fil-A. Anyway, let's get back to sh the theater. 
Are you guys going to go see Mia Farrow and Patti LuPone in a Broadway show? First of all, this is Mia Farrow's very first play. And it's on Broadway? And they asked them in a CBS Sunday morning interview, because um, Patti LuPone was kind of complaining that she wasn't the first choice for this. And she says she thinks she was the second or third choice to be in that play. And you know Patti LuPone's so mean to Mia Farrow in that rehearsal. Anyway, she, they said it was, um, and um, Annette Benning was the first choice. And then Mia was like, I'm glad it's Patty. You know, Patty made her say that. I'm sure she did. But you know how they say that uh, Ronan Farrow, Mia Farrow's son, is really Frank Sinatra's um, son and not Woody Allen's son? But I heard another rumor. I heard that really Mia Farrow is really the daughter of Frank Sinatra. But she, Frank Sinatra um, had uh, an affair with Mia Farrow's mother, Maureen Sol O'Sullivan, who I heard was mean. And... Um, when, uh, but Frank Sinatra didn't know that, that he got her pregnant. Uh. Anyway, so when he, those two met each other and were dating, and they kind of look alike. They both had those weird haircuts. Anyway, when they were um, dating, that's why they, um, never, they got married, and then that's why they never had children, because the mother finally put a stop to it. And that's why Ronan Farrow looks like Frank Sinatra, allegedly. And you know, the whole Sinatra family is very close with Mia Farrow. So I think Mia Farrow is the, son, uh, the daughter of Frank Sinatra. So there you go. Your dad took a case of a tall can of Budweiser to Sinatra at my par the party that your dad threw. <gasps> Give me the tea. Can I comment on the Eating Out franchise because it has lasted longer than Benefer? Honey, good for them. Good for them. Oh, I just love solving mysteries and I've solved another one. With the help of my trashies. So you know how I've been wondering who this nautical queen is? I've been asking, you know, all of you, my trashies in the world. I love her, this Montclair queen. This nautical queen. I want to know who she was. Was she a groundling? Um, did she study at the groundlings? Where did she learn all this prop choreography? Frank Sinatra went to a... Um, um, a, a cancer society benefit and he wouldn't go on without his Budweiser. Oh. Well, yeah, he liked to drink. Then he had a temper. This is husband material, my trashy. But anyway, my trashies, um, we found out who it is. I'm so happy. Look at her. Look at her. Who is she? Who is she? Thank you to This Ain't No Disco, my trashy. We found out who she is. She is Ron Kidd. Look at her. That's her. That's her. I found out she, she's an actor. She's, you know, she's in the family. She's in our family. I, I think he might be single. I looked him up on, you know, Facebook and stuff. Um, I be, um, yes, the mystery is over. Thanks to you, my trashy. And he was doing makeup in Mount Vernon or somewhere upstate New York, I believe, teaching, how, pe teaching people how to do makeup, stage makeup. And then I was like, well, you should, I need to take that class so I can put makeup on in the dark in the club so it doesn't look bad. He should do my makeup in a nightclub. The nautical queen. It's all coming together. Oh, you know, um, this ain't no disco said that he, how he found her was there's some sort of AI program database. Um, it's called Prosperum or um, Misnomer or it's called Pymize, whatever the hell it's called. It's the FBI uses it and it scans people's faces. The face, look at her. Ah, oh, they scan their face and they track him down. He's alive and well. He's in, he's in our community. He... He's, um, he supports the Democratic Party. <laughs> Ron has directed 25 plays and musicals. <gasps> oh my God. I love that. I love her. I want to meet her. I've been obsessed with her for years. Because this ad was in, the, in my old tabloids. You know, Sandra Bernard even talked about this ad once on the David Letterman show. But I need to take his makeup class. So I don't have, um, if, you, if you just joined late, I was in the nightclub this weekend 
And if, you know, for Labor Day weekend, and I asked somebody to put makeup on me because it says the makeup artist, I wanted a smoky eye. Well, honey, I came out looking like the crow. But I wouldn't have to ask people to do makeup if I took this class. Case closed. Ron, we love you, Ron. Have a happy Labor Day. Oh, uh, you know, I have the perfect book for, um, what, but I have, which nightclub? I can't, I can't disclose. Because then everyone's going to go there and everyone's going to be after me. Send her a message. I think I am. I, I think I might send her a message. I didn't want to bother her, you know. But I think I'm just going to send her a message saying I've been looking for you and I found you. I love her. I mean, this is an iconic ad. There was a series of them. But this is the only one I cared about. That's a character. This is character. Oh, you'll bother her, my child. She will. I'm, I'm going to reach out to her. Maybe I can get her on the show. Do you, I should do a Total Trash Live with Ron? All right, I'm going to ask her. I'm going to ask her. All she could do is say no, like most men I know. Gosh darn it. I'm trying to have an... I'm, I'm just going to get real with you. I've been trying to have an affair with somebody, and he's a bad boy. And it's just... It's been going really askew. Affair. Oh, maybe I'll get Ron. If he'll have me. Oh. Oh. Anyway, you guys like books? I'll wear a nautical outfit. Of course I will, my trashy. I won't give up my trashy. Are you guys ready for to read a book for summer? Have you are you care about Melania's biography? She, she says she's ready to tell her story, her journey. Her journey from the mannequin factory. Look at this book. First of all, it's so thin. What story does she have to tell? Also, this bland dark, boring cover. Oh, who cares? Who cares? Is it a picture book? Scratch and sniff my trashy. Smells like, smells like, um, smells like plastic, burnt plastic. Oh, speaking of politics, do you know they're saying, um, uh, uh, the, um, Kamala Harris's husband, Doug, is sexy. <gasps> Megan Kelly's mad about it, honey. She says he's not sexy, and, it's, and this is a misnomer. Well, she says it's dri dribble. But Doug, I, do you guys think Doug is sexy? The first husband? Or the second husband? Do you think he's sexy? Would you have a wild Labor Day weekend with Doug? Hung Doug, my trashy! I'm so glad to see you, my trashy. Oh, are you guys in the mood for Doug? Oh. Doug was hot when he was younger. Well, don't be ageist. Doug is sexy and so is uh, William Ma Matar from Rochester, New York. Doug's son is a cutie. I don't know, I don't know who any of those children are. I don't know who any of those children are. But I have a Wendy Williams update. I have a Wendy Williams update. Wendy Williams was spotted in New Jersey at a health food store with her husband or her son. Well, honey, I'm short circuiting. I just need Doug. Um, short, she was at a health food store buying healthy drinks and products with her son and they said she's still walking a little slow but maybe she, I hope to goodness she's getting better I just need my Wendy back I, as long as she's happy and healthy I just need my Wendy and that's my Wendy Williams update Maybe you, maybe we will get a Wendy Worms podcast. Gosh darn it, we need Wendy. How you doing? How you doing? Honey, what about those people trapped in space? God, honey, they're not having a good Liberty Day weekend. That is like my worst nightmare. First of all, there's t people went down to the Titanic and never came back. And then these people went up into outer space and they're not back. They said they can't come back till February. February? Oh. <laughs> honey, my cat just meowed when I said February. Baby? Coco, girl, always trying to upstage me. It's going to be 106 degrees in here and my air conditioning is acting up. Somebody help her. Somebody help her. Um, honey, just trapped up in that, that spaceship. But anyway, 
They say they'll be back in February, so I wish them well. But we've got to get to another mystery. Have you guys heard about this Usher mystery? Am I watching Chimp Crazy? I haven't watched that yet either, honey. I don't know. I've just been too busy hanging out at nightclubs getting my makeup done. But I'm going to watch it. People keep sending me pictures of her, um, and they keep saying it's me with a wig on. <laughs> oh, let me tell you what happened to Usher. So Usher is about to, was about to go on tour, and then he hurt his neck. Well, now there's been videos and things um, of him, because he's finally back on tour, and they say that parts of him in the show aren't him, that there is some sort of effeminate um, double that has, an, uh, that has an effeminate voice. That doesn't sound like Usher. Do you think Usher has been replaced by an effeminate man? Do you think Usher's been replaced by an effeminate man with an effeminate voice? I had a chorus teacher once who told me I had an effeminate voice, and so I put hairspray in her coffee and I said, Now you have a sticky voice. <laughs> affair, affair, affair. Oh, I really don't give a darn. Gosh darn it. Don't come for me. Sean Puffy comes. Honey, they still haven't gotten her yet. They still haven't gotten her yet. So yeah, allegedly that's the new rumor that Usher's been replaced by an effeminate man. Oh well, at least it's an effeminate man. They have to work. They have to work. Now, let's get to this fridge scaping. Now, uh, have you guys heard about this fridge scaping? I put it on my show and then we got to these tabloids. I put it on my Instagram. How are the par parking signs going? Th thank you. Thank you for that, my trash. Thank you for caring. Because I had a mystery on the last episode where people were putting up these um, uh, no parking signs that didn't make any sense and people were getting towed. And I believe that there was an askew, unhinged tow truck, tow truck driver that were pulling them up. They took the signs from another road and put the parking signs up and was using it as a, as a, um, oh, you know, as a horrible scandal, a, a misnomer, and was towing cars and charging people. Well, honey, next thing you know, I was uh, being driven home the other night by my um, bad boy um, summer fling, and there was three cones out that said no parking. Well, he didn't believe it. I, I said, you sh you're right, honey, you shouldn't believe it, and he kicked them. Anyway, um, I... I, those signs are fake and a fraud and a skew and unhinged. So it was a con. And I kind of believe now that it's somebody that lives on the street that's using the signs to keep people from not parking so they can park. Because it's street, it's street parking and it's gosh darn hard. Was Glenn Close playing, playing the parking enforcement? Ugh, that performance. Yeah, three cones. Three cones, my trash, eh? Three cones. Knock them out of the way. Can't tell us what you were to park. It's a total scam. You used to do that? You're probably doing it on my street, my trashy. Good for you. Just don't do it to me. Don't do it to me. Anyway, let's talk about fridge scaping. Fridge scaping update. So I put on my um, Instagram stories about Inside Edition and how they were, how they were, uh, it's, a, it's some sort of alleged trend going across social media. And people were decorating the inside of the refrigerator. Well, that video I did went viral. And then next thing you know, CNN's covering it. People are putting flowers and photos in their fridges and it's stirring debate. If you didn't see it, here it is. Oh, so fun. Sure it is. Like a like a head, unless it's Jeffrey Dahmer's refrigerator. Um, you know Jeffrey Dahmer did fridge scaping a long time ago, and let's not forget about that. So as now the fridge scaping is the hottest new thing, my trashy, my trashies. I'm going to show you at the end of the show my refrigerator. I fridge scaped. I fridge scaped. I fridge scaped. I'm going to reveal it to you at the end of the show. That's for Ozempic peeps that you know, they now have all that room in their fridge. Well, the main comment I've been getting about fridge scaping is because the, the, the uh, groceries are so expensive, we can't afford to put anything in the refrigerator now except porcelain heads and candles. <sighs> That's the thing, honey. If Kamala Harris wants to win this election, she needs to make groceries free. 
Okay? I don't even want to pay for my groceries anymore. I want free groceries or I'm not voting. I'm not voting. If I don't get free groceries. This show does have, does have production, my, my trashy. I do it all myself. There's no man helping me. <laughs> Nobody's helping me. I don't even have a man. You know what I have? I have a one foot daughter and she's a good girl. A good girl. Oh, no, 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 no. You can't party anymore. You're acting like your mother. Now let's get to a game and we're gonna get these trashies. You know I love to play games. Okay, are you ready, my trashy? It's one of my favorite games when the tablets squish celebrities' faces. And you have to guess who they are. Oh, uh, let's steal groceries, my trashy. I once came um, home from a nightclub in New York. Nobody put makeup on my face. And I was so stoned, it was 5 o'clock in the morning, and I went to a Gristidi's and I stole an Entenmann's cake. And I ran down the street. I didn't have any money on me. Who is that tall green man in my stories? That was an alien, honey. A luminous friend. That's why she wants to go out and party. Who is she? Who is she? Who are these two celebrities? Whoever gets it right gets to climb into my refrigerator. Pink, pink. You saw me with a tall alien, Albert? I know, honey. A fair, pink. Ellen and Ellen, Jay Leno. Who is she? Who is she? Anne Hage? <laughs> Ellen and Anne Hage. Oh, what a duo. Anderson Cooper. Pink. Pink. Now, this is a very difficult one. No one's going to get this. <laughs> it's not Ron, my trash, eh? Oh, I love everyone. Not Bieber. Not Melania. Who is she? Hi from Australia. How's everything down under? Tyne Daily. You can see the pics from your my desk. Okay, then fine. And the reveal is... Sarah Ramirez and Mike Myers. Che! From in just like that. And then just like that. Honey, that's a difficult one, right? Hi, Nova Scotia. Listen, that's Che. She's not going to be on the next season of it just like that. Yeah, she's not. She's not. It's Che, honey. You saw Bruce Willis? You saw a post-traumatic stress from Che? Not celebrity quite laughing. Take them away. Oh, you said you thought it was celebrities. My trash is you guys are real. You guys are really going for it on Labor Day weekend. I thought it was pictures of celebrities. Oh, shade. Oh, shade. All right, let's get to some celebrity trash, honey. Are you guys ready? We got to get to these tabloid stories. Just make some room here. Are you high? Oh. Ah, oh, good for you. You have to watch this show, hi. Ooh. Oh, Taylor Swift, target of terror. Why ISIS fanatics hate Spunky Singer? How the CIA caught concert bombers. Will it happen again? Explosive untold story. Kate tries to rescue Broken Harry. Good for Kate. He smells Tom Cruise Bodhi Otter humiliation. Affair. Beanie babies are worth a fortune. Well, I want one. Oh. J Lo pockets Affleck's $10 million ring in divorce. Yeah, honey, she's not going to give up that ugly ring. Nobody wants it. Alien corpses discovered in UFO wreckage. Oh, Lumina, don't look. TSA spy scandal explodes. Honey, I don't care about this crazy. Now let's get into it. Oh, Celine, here's to you, bud. But looky here, honey, what's going on with Sharon Stone? Shout on the town. Basic instinct siren Sharon Stone makes a racket in France while 
catching a tennis match. Do you ever fuck on coke, Nick? I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have said that. Uh-oh, Mariah savoring J-Lo's troubles. Of course she is, honey. Of course she is. Uh, reignites old feud with biggest rivals. Jennifer Lopez reportedly hopes to get her tour back on track so she can face off with Mariah. Oh, honey, that tour is not going to happen. Caddy Mariah is extra pleased to see J-Lo fall on her face, sources say, and I'm the source. Diva Mariah Carey's delayed her concert tour in Las Vegas residency have been huge hits, and sources tattle these successes are especially delicious because they're a slap in the face of her longtime rival Jennifer Lopez, whose career and marriage are imploding. Mariah can't let go of her grudge against JLo. It's been over 20 years, and it's still burning her as hot as ever. She's un she's un unraveling my trashy. Sources snitch Carey is feeling very superior since more dates have been added to her Las Vegas residency. Mariah is extra excited to show she still got it after JLo had to go on and cancel her concert tour. Mariah followed that very closely and took a lot of pleasure in seeing her fall on her face. She feels like karma is biting JLo on the butt, of that big butt, because she's not as talented and thinks she is. And she, she's not as talented as she thinks she is, and she's way too arrogant. Oh, this is so sad. Oh, the vision of Love Singer always complains about how she, oh, Jayla was overrated and phony. Oh, not phony. Jayla knows Mariah's been trash talking her. How does she know? And laughing about her divorce. <laughs> oh, they have so many pals in common. Who? Anyway, bye, girl. <sighs> Tom Cruise humiliating body odor. Sweaty super, superstar is done right stinky. Tom always been a big pers perspirer, but it's gotten worse than those close to him where he's sweating out thetans. He stinks. Funky Tom Cruise has had a perspiration problem for years, leaving his shirt soaked through and pals are saying it's the pits. Oh, he's wet? Tom seems to be totally in denial. He's always been a pretty sweaty guy, but lately it seems to have gotten even worse. And he's doing nothing to try to address it. He'll be out and be totally drenched and not seem to even notice. But of course the people around him are quite taken aback. Well, what do you think he smells like? To be fair, his sweat baths happen in, in the hot and humid places, like um, Los Angeles on Wednesday and Thursday. But at this point in his life, he should just know it's going to happen and just come to, prepare, come, be, come to be prepared. He could bring a change of clothes and a towel and maybe some spray deodorant too, but he, he can get mighty pungent when he goes hours on end in a soaked shirt. He's Tom Cruise, so no one's going to tell him to his face, but people do comment and, and it and, and, and question why he doesn't invest in some Botox under the armpits. Word is it can be very effective in reducing underarm sweating, but he seems perfectly fine dripping sweat. It's like he's oblivious. Oh, she's stinky. She's one of those stinky gays. She likes it. She likes it. She likes it. Oh, uh, look at her, honey. Kelly, she, Kelly, she loves to eat... Um, Hot dogs and hamburgers. They're always getting pictures of her eating like barbecue food. Happy Labor Day weekend, girl. You have a good time. Oh, look at these outfits. Do you think Amy Schumer's outfits could? The train wreck funny lady goes off the rails with a frumpy frock and horribly styled hair. Maya and Bialik? Honey, this out this, this out's Jeopardy host makes questionable choices with oversized suit separates. Honey, Catwoman? Who's this? Empire's conniving cookie is half-baked in skimpy shorts and a brunette bearing blazer. How's Jesse Smollett? Oh, God. Kate Blanchett, the Borderlands gunslinger, is a dud. She misses the mark in a denim dyed disaster. Bethany Franco, who cares? Busted for beating... Busted for beating hubby with burrito... This Tex-Mex missile reportedly hit the victim's face and left an avocado stain. Dr. Esha Pershad was charged with battery cops, eh? Florida! Of course it's in Florida. 
Florida dentist Dr. Isha Pershad is charged with battery by burrito after cops say she blasted her husband with some Taco Bell. <gasps> According to court documents, Prashad was thinking outside the bun when she bought a big spread of Taco Bell, Taco Bell and McDonald's for her husband's birthday. But sometime after midnight, tempers got spicy over the fast food feast. That's when the dentist allegedly lobbed a burrito or, or a soft shell taco, the police report mentions both at the 35 year old birthday boy whose name was concealed by cops the tax max missile struck the man on the right side of his face according to the report and must have had extra guac because it was still glued to the victim's face when the police <laughs> when the police arrived in florida the burrito battered spouse admitted he was not injured in the culinary combat. His wife claimed he threw a bag at her first, which he denied. Still, the taco-tossing terror was arrested, charged with misdemeanor domestic battery, and booked in the county jail. She was later released on her own recognizance. Hope she ate that taco. Apparently, the feuding foodies who have been married for five years aren't always so heated. A bio on the website of the dental practice where Prashad works notes that her husband relish in the tranquility of beach days and savoring our community's different culinary offerings and they'll throw it right into each other's face. You can't waste food. You gotta take away your refrigerator. Baja blasted. Oh, that story's unhinged. It's a skew, honey. Look at Billy Ray Cyrus. Trash mouth Billy Ray's big problem with women. Well, because he's wearing the Rachel. Honey, Billy Ray Cyrus is turning into the to the Rachel. Oh, it, can, it is a Canidas concussion, my trashy. Oh, this is, this is sad. And I'm mad, but it's so sad. Honey, here is these astronauts. They're lost in space. Uh, I, I, I can't. I already talked about this. J-Lo claims the tent bones $10 million ring. My finger just feels naked without it. 2003 is going to be our year. Imagine what a ring like this would cost in 20 years. I know she won't take off that ring. Katie's comeback is a total disaster. Critics trash New Diddy. Katy Perry, who ditched her American Idol gig to focus on music, is devastated by bad reviews for Woman's World. It's a woman's world. Isn't that a Cher album? You know what, honey? Bye, girl. I don't care about that story. It's a woman's world. Madonna robs Cradle again. Affair. Intergenerational love is in the air, again, as Madonna has been holding hands and snapping sexy selfies with new boyfriend Akeem Morris, 28, on the eve of her 66th birthday. The 70-year age gap did not seem to bother either of them, as Jamaican-born soccer player Akeem was seen fondling the material matron's cleavage they, first, they reportedly first met in a 2020-2022 magazine shoot. Do you think this is going to last? Do you think this affair is going to last? Do you think it's wrong to date that young? Lumina! UFA war cover-up. Shocking new evidence of deadly dogfight alien alien corpses in Arizona. This is this is too much. I can't let my daughter see this. It's a woman's world. And finally, who cares? We've already done fashion. It's a woman's world. Ugh. Oh. Do you think it's inappropriate to date that young, if you're 66 and they're 28? That's the man I've been sleeping with, affair. My, the young, um, I'm dating somebody younger. This is him, he's eternal. My baby. Who is she? Who is, who are they? Pete, have you ever been in Janice County Village and Museum? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know what that is, my trashy. I don't know what that is. 
Nice if, if, if it's a summer bad boy fling. That's right, honey. I'm having a summer bad boy fling. Because it's a misnomer summer. But it's already over because summer's over. Put a sweater on. Put a sweater on. All right, my trashies, are you ready to go into my refrigerator to see my fridge escaping? We're going to go into the kitchen. Come on. It's a woman's world. It's a woman's world. So they say. Here we go. Ooh, my microphone got stuck. Hold on. Oh, here we go. Don't you love when I'm when I leave the set? Oh wait, I gotta plug it in. Cause I have to unplug my refrigerator because it's so damn it's so gosh darn loud when I do the show. Let's see my fridge scaping. Well, I've got my cat in here. I did um, a nice pink sequin glove. I have Lumina's foot. I have um, Gemini hologram dolls. Isn't this gorgeous? Madonna's Truth or Dare perfume. I'm so proud of my fridge scaping. And y'all put wigs in the freezer. But this has nothing to do with fridge scaping. I just don't have any room in my kitchen, so I keep my wigs in my freezer. Isn't it cute? I'm gonna put this in here too. <laughs> Woo! Wasn't that fun? We went on a field trip. Do you guys like it? You think I did a good job? Or you think I could do better? I did it really quick. I, I'm honey, I gotta put that wig on that wig on when it gets hot on Wednesday and because it's gonna be in the freezer, it's gonna cool me off. Ah, oh, I do keep my panties in the freezer and my wigs. Gosh darn it. Well, my trashies, that's it for another episode. I hope you all decorate your fridge, a fridge scape, for fall. It's the hottest new trend. Wait till Christmas comes. You're gonna put, I'm going to put a Christmas tree in the refrigerator. Everything should just be in the refrigerator now. Thank you, my trashy. I did do a good job. That was magical. I love you too, my trashy. Well, I'll see you later. I was going to go and reach over for my daughter, but I can't get her. Coco is always the star of the show tonight, my trashy. She's sitting here in the corner like a good girl. Coco, say hi, honey. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 meow. Bye, my trashy. Get that refrigerator fixed. Uh, Till next time, we solved it. We solved crimes. We decorated refrigerators. We've learned. Not put cocoa in the fridge. My trash is un unhinged tonight. You guys are totally unhinged. I gotta go out. I gotta go to another nightclub and put makeup on my face. I'm already sweating in this apartment. Look how I'm getting moist. Ah, oh, the air conditioner is unhinged. It's a skew. Can somebody come over and help me figure out how to work my refrigerator? I mean, my air conditioner? I'm just gonna have to put my head in the freezer.